Hey, welcome to the vlog. Right now, I am in Faith Assembly. Yes, no, that is not Faith Assembly. That is Faith Assembly. I attended the We Stand conference that was organized by Freedom Generation, which is the youth arm of Faith Assembly. I went to the conference last year and it was really good. This year was the same. There was so much packed inside of such an accessible package. It's really something that you shouldn't want to miss. But I'm not here just to promote the thing. I'm just here to give my thoughts on it and share some things that I think we need to look at going forward. The theme this year was a simple revolution. I will give you a quick snapshot of my notes in a while, but I want to talk about something that I noticed throughout this whole thing. What I noticed is the church in action. It's very easy to look at a big church that's established and that's doing stuff and, you know, kind of look at it in a particular way or even be jealous. But at the end of the day, this is church. What I've noticed is that the knowledge and experience gained over the years hasn't been bottled in. It hasn't been kept a secret. It's been shared. And it follows the simple principle of Jesus telling us to go out and make disciples. This is what the church is about. Encountering God, God empowering you, you empowering someone else, and then allowing them to spread that message. And that is what I saw. I saw the church, the church empowering each other. The church has no place for disunity. In unity, we have strength. The stronger areas of the body need to build up the weaker areas of the body. We are supposed to be duplicating Christ-like character but still recognize that there's beauty in diversity. Not everyone's gonna do the same thing the exact same way but we all understand that we have the same mission. So let us just do it. Just do it like my first video. Just do it. Okay, so I will get carried away talking about the church. Let me just mention a few things that stood out to me from the We Stand conference. What? So the simple revolution, Lyndon Balcaran really laid it out very nicely, he was an excellent opening batsman and one of the things that stood out to me was that clutter is an excuse for mediocrity. As a leader I could truly identify with the fact that personal clutter really gets in the way and it, it leads to clutter in the ministry and sometimes we just need to keep it simple, really and truly we just need to keep it simple. Many other topics were mentioned, stuff like clarity clarity about your vision and your plan not just doing youth activities because you want to do youth activities but actually having an end game stuff like movement pastor david charles said that life is movement life is growth leadership it's all about character alignment focus it, just a lot of good stuff packed into that accessible package so right now it's lunch time the best part of the day and i just ate a very tasty meal and by the way we had breakfast and lunch and a lot of spiritual food for only $50 so this was really really good a lot of good good stuff and right now everyone is eating having a good time as you can see it's a good attendance you know the place is not totally packed out but it's a good attendance and you know we want to encourage everybody next year to really be part of this I really want to thank everyone who was involved big up the Freedom Generation team who really did an excellent job. I want to challenge everyone who was there to take a next look at your notes, you know, read it over, let things sink in, and even challenge yourself to apply some things that you wrote down. And for the folks who weren't there, check someone who you knew attended and ask them to give you a little copy of their notes. God said to share. I will leave you with one last quote regarding focus. The quote is, you can multitask, but you cannot multi-focus. That's it for this video. Remember to like our new Facebook page, but firstly subscribe to us here on YouTube. This is the vlog. Stay awesome. Merry Christmas.